This is your idler arm tension pulley. And uh, we lost that sucker going down the road. Had to pull over. And I, uh, I called a shop over here. And um, I'm right in between Kiwana and Childress, Texas. And off the side of the road, I called a shop over here. The band is after hours, you know, they're pretty expensive. So I called my wife. I was able to find the part. And she's going to bring me the part. She's a few hours away, but it's going to save probably about five or $600, you know, her bringing that part to me. Because I can, I can put it on myself, you know, it's just one bolt. You just got to route the belt on there. So I got another tension pulley. I got another belt that come to, uh, of course I did have to pay after hours emergency part service, which was $50 at Rush Truck Center, Peterbilt. <clears throat> I'm glad they have that. They offer that. So she was able to go up there and get it and get me another fan belt also. And that's what this comes off. This is for the fan belt, uh, not the uh, compressor. But, uh, the total on that, the actual part, I'm getting the exact same part, and um, I gave him a part number, and uh, the part's 405. Of course, the uh, after hours price is 50, and uh, I think the fan belt turned out to be $60. I got a rig tough fan belt. That's the only one they had, so. I think it's going to be pretty good. I think my, my other fan belt is still okay. I didn't see any tears or anything in it, but I'm going to go ahead and replace it just in case. So like I said, it was just about the sun was going down when this happened and wasn't a lot of light to see, but I was able to get in there and take this uh, tension pulley off. And... Uh, yeah, another 500. I think the total was like 560 with tax, something like that. But that's 1300 I spent in two days. And these brokers want to hold down that rate with all these parts going up, you know. You used to be able to get a tension pulley for $300, you know. Now it's over $400 just for a freaking tension pulley. So. I'd advise anyone driving a truck, you know, especially if you want to on your own truck you know don't take those don't take those low rates these brokers try to throw at you because these parts are expensive you know i paid i uh, had a blowout last night and i had to pay 862 dollars for loves to come out and put me another tire on on the drive axle you know so we'll try to get going i lost a little bit of radiator fluid it got a little bit hot when it when it happened and uh but i have some radiator fluid in here i've a few gallons i can put in but we're just going to wait on her to get the part over here and uh might try to film you know what i do put it back on it it's dark though but we'll try to we'll see what we can do but now the screws up my next slow because i'm not going to have i'm not going to have enough time to make the plant so I'm going to have to stop short. I'm actually going to have to PC off duty from where I'm at on the side of the road to the next town. So I'll have to do that and shut down and do a 10 hour break. And it's going to uh, make me late for my appointment time to load. But hopefully they'll be on top of it and send me a trailer over there to load. But I kind of doubt it, you know. They'll probably wait on me and uh, load me up as one of the last trucks to load that day, which I think they finish up. They try to finish up, finish up around 4.30 or 5, <coughs> loading there. This is another freezer load at Lineage, so I'll have to go over there. And uh, so it's going to put me behind on this because this is a South Texas load that I'm getting. And uh, I'll already be you know, three hours of, of driving time into it. And it's a good 10, 10 and a half hours down there. 
So it's gonna put me behind on this load. I'm gonna have to stop short <laughs> again. And uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. All right, I was gonna, <clears throat> got a new belt on, got it, ran. I had to take the other one off. You just kind of work it around this fan, blade by blade until you can get it off and just go backwards, work it, put it on. You gotta get it over the, over the fan. So you gotta put it on this side and then get it over. So it'll, uh, you can connect it. As you can see, I got a new pulley, tension pulley right there. I got the belt on. It seems to be doing all right. I had it started. I'm warming it up, and that's what I need to be doing. Is a, I'm going to. It's giving me a coolant coat. I put some more coolant in it because when it got hot, it sprayed some out. So through the uh, overfill. But I added about a gallon, <clears throat> and. Uh, yeah, let's let it warm up and see if that goes away, that, that little coolant coat. See what happens with it, you know. A little bit of an update, people. A little bit of an update. No, that is not the moon. That is a telephone pole, that bright light over there. Spotlights on it. Yard lights, we call it. But we shagged, uh, turn off that flash. There we go tension pulley we broke down on the side of the road we replaced that tension pulley and the fan belt went into Childress because I had to I was out of time so I just went to Childress and parked it and did a 10 and uh, they took that report load off of me because I lost too much time with that breakdown and uh, gave it to somebody else that's just the way it goes when you break down you know I was kind of upset about it but there's not much you can do because they really need to get that load there on time you know so um but he gave me a pallet load to get i got that pallet load and then he paid me some money to uh to go get a trailer in lubbock and bring back to the plant and that's what we just did we we got the we got the pallet load first and uh pretty fairly easy i had to wait until the second shift so I had to wait till 3.30. I logged in about 3.50. And uh, there they had the trailer loaded. It was just a drop and hook. Brought it over here. Then uh, went to Lubbock to get uh, this empty trailer. Luckily, the gate was still open at this one place. <coughs> Lubbock truck sales. And I went in the gate. And I was I was going to leave, you know. And that guy goes... Well, how'd you get in here? I said, well, I came through the gate right in front of me. They said, oh. They said, did uh, somebody tell you to pick up that trailer? I'm like, that's why I'm here, dude. <laughs> Picking up this trailer. <laughs> well, we need to verify that first. I'm like, whatever. Just hurry up, man, because I don't have a lot of time left. I have an hour and a half left right now. I'm going to go to the house, people. It's time to go to the house. So let's go. Uh, just my luck, they're moving a train through here. 
Maybe he'll stop. Hopefully he does. Yeah, he stopped. He stopped. We were able to cross the tracks. I still have another set of tracks to cross going out of this place. Yard service guys need to stay out of my way. I've got to go. Let's go. Yeah. 